Hey everyone, Alexander Mathais here from SaxophoneMasterclass.com. Thank you so much for checking out this video. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you a simple exercise you can use to start improving your tone and get more control over the saxophone. Now this exercise might be simple, but it is actually quite difficult and requires a lot of breath support. So if you don't know how to practice your breathing exercises, I actually have another video you can check out and there's a link below this lesson where you can work on your breathing and get the support you need in order to do this exercise. Once you've learned this exercise and once you practice it across the whole range of the instrument, you're going to have so much more control, so much more confidence when it comes to getting consistency on the saxophone. Now this lesson is actually taken from my saxophone success path, which is a step-by-step -step path that I've created that takes you from learning the saxophone from absolute scratch to then advancing to learning your favorite songs, learning how to play by ear, learning how to jam with other musicians and developing the confidence to play for friends and family and even to play in public as well. So if this sounds like a path you'd love to follow, why not go and check it out inside my Saxophone Masterclass membership. You can learn more at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership. We only open a few times a year, but if you go to the website, you'll see when we're open for enrollments next. And you can join the waiting list to be the first to know when the Saxophone Masterclass membership is open. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and happy playing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you an exercise that I want you to practice across the whole range of the instrument. We're gonna focus in on the middle range for now, but this is something you can apply to the low range as well as the high range on the instrument. Let me play it for you first. So you can hear that I started very quietly I got louder and louder and louder and then I began to get quietly again until there's literally just air blowing through the horn. This is a really important exercise to gain control over this middle range. So again, we don't want to tongue the note. We just want to blow air through until we get a sound and then get as loud as we can. The louder we get, the more we need to open up our throat and get support from our breath. So let me show you one more time. Now, if you need help with getting the timing right, try putting a metronome on at 60 BPM and gradually make your way up in dynamics for each beat. So the first beat, you start quietly, then you move on to the second beat, you go a little louder, third beat, a little louder, fourth beat, as loud as you can. Then you gradually go back down in volume for the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth beat. Each one of those beats is a second and you want to make sure that you're able to get a full eight second long tone where you're going from quiet to loud and then back down to soft again. Again, this is a really important exercise for getting control and also working on your dynamics when you're playing the instrument. You want to have control over being able to play as soft as possible and as loud as possible. So make sure to do this on every single note like this. Take your time with this and make sure to take a deep diaphragmatic breath before each note. 
As you get higher on this exercise, you're gonna feel that your lip is coming off the reed a little more, and that's to allow the higher harmonics of the reed vibration to come out of the horn. So work on that, pick a scale. In this case, I use G major. You could also use a chromatic scale and work on every single note going from G all the way up to the G with the octave key. Playing this exercise, starting quietly, getting louder, and then going back to quiet. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Remember, this is part of my saxophone success path, which you can get inside the Saxophone Masterclass membership. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership to learn more about that. And not only do you get a curated path to follow with hundreds of lessons and videos and PDFs and audio files, but you also get feedback from me personally as you're working through the saxophone success path. So you're never lost, you're always getting feedback, you're always getting constructive criticism as you're working through the curriculum. Not only that, but there's also an incredible community inside the membership which you can share your progress with, ask questions, share your journey, encourage and motivate one another as you're progressing and mastering the saxophone. So again, we only open a few times a year for new enrollments. So if you want to see if we're open right now, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership. And if we're not open, you can just join the waiting list and be the first to know when we're going to be open for new enrollments. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, happy playing.